Have you been wondering how to make a WordPress website? You probably feel overwhelmed by all the different kinds of web hosting services, worrying about coding or thinking about how to install WordPress. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will see how anybody, even a beginner, can start a WordPress website in less than 6 minutes. We will also see what my top choice for the best web host is. Stay tuned to check out exclusive discounts offered by AllMySoftware.com. Hey, what's up guys? This is Nicolas Salgado from AllMySoftware.com, the best place for entrepreneurs and business owners. To build your website, we will be using two things, a web hosting service and WordPress. WordPress is the world's most popular tool to create any type of website. This platform allows you to edit and customize your website without any coding required. Some examples of websites created with WordPress are The New York Times, Sony Music, Wired, and even the White House's website is built with WordPress. To use WordPress, we will need a web hosting service, which is basically a way of storing your website's information into a server and what lets you see it on the internet. You will also get your own custom domain like allmysoftware.com. Domains like allmysoftware.wordpress.com make your company look really inexperienced. SiteGround is the web hosting we will be using today. It is definitely the best out of all the web hosting services I have tested. If you're thinking long term, it should be your top option. If money is an issue though, I would recommend you to watch my top 3 best web hosting services for beginners for 2019, where I go over other affordable and reliable alternatives. With that being said, let's start the tutorial. The first step is to make sure to go to my web hosting coupons page to be able to have access to the best available prices, not just for SiteGround. There will be other coupons that will be updated monthly. As you can see, you will be saving 67% of the original price when you use my link. The startup option should be a really good place to start because the other two include premium features that are mostly customer service related you will be fine with the cheapest option. After selecting your desired plan, you will have to purchase a new domain, unless you already have one. I am just gonna use allmysoftware123.com as an example. Now, you will fill out all of your information. For security purposes, I will just scroll down to the purchase information section. The data center is basically where the server is gonna be located. If you are in the USA, just choose Chicago or Iowa. In the period, I will recommend you to purchase the higher amount of months as possible. My special price will just cover this period that you are about to pay. If you choose 12 months, you will be charged the regular $11.95 per month for the startup plan after those 12 months, so have that in mind. You are also getting a 30 day money back guarantee. So don't be afraid to select a big number because you will be able to cancel it at any time under those 30 days. I would just leave it as a trial because I am not interested in having this website. After that, I will recommend you to check the domain privacy option because this prevents anybody of finding your name and address. Again, I will leave it unchecked because I won't continue using this website. SG Site Scanner is just an add-on, so you can leave that part unchecked. You can proceed now. And that's it, you already have a domain and a web hosting. Now we will continue to actually set up your new website. As I told you, WordPress is the best software to edit and customize my website. When you select it, you will have to create an admin username and set up a password. You will be offered the domain privacy again, so if you didn't choose it at first, I will recommend you to select it now. After agreeing to SiteGround's terms, your website setup is complete. In order to access your website, you should go to the customer area to my account and then to admin panel, 
type in your details and you should be able to access WordPress. This WordPress setup is not done on a lot of web hosting services. This is a really cool and unique way SiteGround uses. It will first ask you to select a theme. You can actually preview all of them and as you can see there are a lot of themes. I will go ahead and select any of them. As you can see this theme is powered by Elementor which lets you customize your website in a visual way. I use it for all the websites I create. These are more plugins suggested by SiteGround. Everything is pretty much self-explanatory. I would recommend you to select Jetpack to see statistics of your website such as how many people enter your website or the links they clicked on. SEO is another big topic to talk about. In case you don't know what it is, it is basically the algorithm Google uses to rank websites. This means that this plugin increases your chances of ranking better on Google. It is a pretty good plugin. Your website is now ready. And as you can see, it is stunning. To change the theme, you can always go to Appearance. Since this particular theme is powered by Elementor, to be able to edit the text, you can go to Pages and then click on Edit with Elementor. This makes editing so much easier than using WordPress alone. That is why plugins are so powerful. There are pieces of code that allow you to do endless things. You can have a membership site, a forum, you can set up email marketing, you can add banners to your site, basically anything you want without any coding required. That was it for this step-by-step -step tutorial. We could spend hours and hours talking about the WordPress, but I just wanted to make it easy to everybody to start a website. If you would like me to do a more in-depth tutorial or if you have any question at all, don't hesitate on asking on the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. I appreciate your support more than you know. Thank you for watching.